2020, notwithstanding problems with the virus and lockdowns and all that, we have more queries about crows and rooks ragging up people's lawns than in any other year I can remember. What's happening? Why are they doing it? The crows are destroying my lawn. Well, I can show you why they were doing it, because I've just been digging some holes, uh, and even the grass, even at this time of year, the culprit, or well, the reason that the crows are digging, is right here. Let's have a look, come and have a look. So, uh, so I've just been removing some grass. Here, this little nasty, or beauty, depending on your viewpoint, it's him, is a chafer grub larvae. They get quite big, this is quite a small one. Whether, uh, can you see, you can identify them quite easily by the brown head. Is that showing, Millie? Yeah. They have a white body, the legs at the front, and then this big, often dark backside. Can I say that? Bottom, rear, posterior. This end is often black and dark. Now they get quite big, or you know, sometimes as big as you. Don't laugh. Just trying to be helpful, um, Jacob. You've put me off this stride. This, um, that's what they look like anyway. That's what we're looking for. Now, these are an absolute delicacy for the crows. They, they love them. And somehow they know that they're there. They ripped up our lawns this year, made a, a, an earthy mess. You know, we could have stopped that. But these little blighters will do more damage to the lawn. Don't make faces behind the camera, Millie. Really, putting me up. They'll do more damage to the lawn than the crows, because you can always rake that flat again. But meanwhile, the crows, rooks, have stripped these out of your lawn. They normally leave like patches, lofty brown patches where they live. Here's the thing though, these hatch out in the summer, warm summer evenings into the most magnificent beetles, chafer beetles. They have huge feelers. They look like they belong in Egypt or somewhere exotic. Uh, and they fly around like a, a helicopter with only uh, half a rotor. They're, they're very clumsy. Oh, still got him. Um, and they're a wild animal. They're a beautiful creature. So, just part of nature, eh? This one here, is he doing any harm? It's a patch of rough ground, you know. I'm not bowling on this, uh, this thing. So I'm going to put him where they'll either go back in the ground or it'll become robin food or bird food. But either way, you know, this is the cause of the, the birds ragging up the lawns. It's just part of life and nature. Uh, and the circle goes on. I hope you find that helpful. Thanks for watching. What's a posterior? Bottle. I've never heard that.